know, I know, I know. Long time no see. Um, but I am back with a tutorial. And it's actually using um, Shiver Pill Cosmetics. Uh, I got these like uh, in February, I think it was. And I have been playing with them, but obviously I haven't been making any tutorials. Um, but this tutorial is for the look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I actually used this a couple weekends ago when I went to San Francisco with um, Petri Lude and Jessie Baby Cakes and um, Josh Source, Makeup by Risa, etc. etc. Um, I'm actually putting up a San Francisco trip um, video. It'll probably be broken up into two vlogs on my other channel, my personal one. If you guys want to subscribe and check that out, I'll put a link somewhere here. Um, youtube.com slash suzmeister yeah hopefully i'll be making more videos and um check out my new sweater it's from amy shrinkle you may know her isn't this so cute she actually made this um i'll put a link in the under bar uh whatever showing it but she has really cute um clothes on her etsy and she actually makes them herself so it's really cool uh, but yeah okay um i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and i really miss you guys okay bye <laughs>First, you want to, of course, put a eyeshadow base on your eyes. Um, I'm actually using a green one, so it'll make the uh, green pop out even more. This is Faro Paint Pot by MAC. Um, any kind of green base would do well with this. So you want to put this, concentrating it on the lid. Okay, once you have that done, you want to take the green. I'm using the green from the Sugar Pill uh, palette. I'm not sure what it's called, but I will put an annotation for the name of it. I'm just going to take a flat brush and pat that on. You want to put it all over the lid. Um, you want to probably just like leave this area right here, probably the outer uh, fourth, um, open for bl a little bit of the blue. I'm just going to use the outside of this, not the outside, the other side of this, for the blue color here. I'm just going to put that on right here, covering the rest of the green that we didn't cover. But I'm just using Ben Nye's um, eyeliner pencil. And what I'm going to do is just trace the outside of the color here. And you really want to try to have this as sharp as possible so you can get the cleanest line if you use a kind of a dull pencil point, it kind of, um, it leaves more room for error. So you want to try to have it kind of sharp. You can actually do this step first if you want. If you don't really trust your, um, you know, your hand, if you're a little shaky, you could do this part before you actually put the lid color. What I'm going to do now is use a 231 kind of a flat thin brush this is actually one of my favorite brushes especially for cutting a crease I'm just gonna smooth out um, the line that I did do so I'm just gonna spread it you can see and then like I do in all my other videos with this technique I'm just gonna pull out this color and it starts to blend it out. Okay, actually, once this step is done, I want to make sure it blurs completely out. So I'm just bringing this out a little bit more, blending with my finger. I'm going to be using a kind of a fluffy blendy brush, the 224 from MAC, and I'm going to get this pink from the uh, Sugar Pill. I'm going to start to just dab it on and blend it into the crease. So I'm just adding that in, and then while I'm doing that, I'm going to start to bring it up. Since this look is really intense, you're going to bring that color um, pretty high up, so... When you do that, you want to make sure that you have no harsh lines, so make sure you're blending everything correctly. Or, not correctly, well, correctly too, but smoothly. 
and it'll fade into a, um, a nice transition. Okay, once you have that um, blended into your liking, I'm going to be taking a darker color now to um, deepen the crease. I'm using this navy blue from um, Makeup Forever. Originally in the look, I did use um, Deep Truth. Um, but this time I'm just using this matte blue. So any kind of matte blue would work really well. Using a matte really deepens up the crease and gives it a lot of dimension. And I'm actually just using, it's this is uh, the 272. It's flat and it has angle and I'm putting this tip part right into the crease. Okay, so basically after you added um, as much... Um, depth you want into your crease. Make sure everything's blended out. Just took my 224 and just went to town with it. Just kept blending and blending and blending. Now for the highlight, I am going to be using um, just shroom. So any kind of shimmery color will do. Mine looks a little gross because I chipped it. So we're just going to put that all over the um, brow bone. And then you want to blend that into the rest of the eyeshadow. Once that's done, for um, the inner highlight, I'm just using um, OCC's Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics color, and um, it's called Spectral. Spectral. So I'm just putting that on the inner corner, bringing it up, and I'm going to be blending that into everything else. And once you have your highlight blended in the inner corner, uh, for the bottom, I'm just using um, Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide uh, Eyeliner in Electric, so any blue would be cool. Okay, so on top of that, on um, right below, I'm going to be putting on a little bit of Sugar Pills uh, Lumi. It's a duochrome with like a green, sparkly to it. I suck at um, describing colors, sorry. So I'm just patting that on on the inner corner. And lastly, for the outer third, I'm using another sugar pill loose eyeshadow called um, Magpie. This is probably my favorite of all the uh, loose eyeshadows. Yeah, I just totally spilled some on myself. Fabulous. Then once I have that done, I'm just going to blend it all together a little bit. Okay, so for your waterline, I'm using Blue Peeps, um, Blue Peep from MAC. It's a fluid line. The last step to kind of make this pop, you could actually just stop there. But to have a little sparkle on the inner little part, I'm using MAC's Glitter Eyeliner and um, Divine Lime. Um, any kind of green would be great for this, or actually a blue or even like a pink, purple, whatever you have would work really well. And I'm just going to put this right on top of the Lumi and bring that out. Okay, so basically after that's done, um, this can just complete the look. You can actually line your eyes with liner if you'd like. Okay, so after you have your lashes and everything done, this is how the final look looks. Um, for the cheeks, I just used, actually I used a 187 with the, um, the pink here, very lightly, because this is very pigmented, as you can see, a little swipe goes a long way, so I used that really lightly, and then for the lips, you can do, you know, a light pink, or if you feel bold, you can use a um, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics a Lip Tar, and Demure would probably really bam your face with this. Um, but yeah, that completes your look. Um, I hope you guys liked it, and hopefully you'll see more videos from me soon. Take care. Bye.